So in general, in industry, um, it's pretty widely accepted that for every watt we create um, with our x-ray tube, we create one micron in focal spot size. But when you actually measure the focal spot, you can see that it can be dramatically different. And that's what this is for. So when we measure our focal spot and we want to understand the unsharpness in our image, we can apply that focal spot measurement to the geometric unsharpness calculation. And so without that number, we're more or less guessing at what the focal spot size is, and thus will give us a incorrect unsharpness measurement. So with this feature, you can measure it live in EFX DR, and it gives you the accurate and correct focal spot size for your specific setup. And what it enhances is your spatial resolution and edge definition in your imaging specimen. So at your imaging plane, as you're looking at your part, we can actually enhance the definition of the edges and improve the spatial resolution for detectability. And what this can also aid in is less spent time on the actual technique development process in order to get the adequate technique. So another cool feature with this is you can actually use this for a process control. So you can use it either at your technique setup, um, specific to a part, you wanna measure that focal spot time and time again, day after day or week after week or month after month, you wanna validate that you're still within a specific tolerance, um, you can do that or as a system process control. So it's just measured at one specific setup representative of your system and the applications you have. And you look at that over time. And then this is uh, something we printed in the lab. It's just a, it's a replica of the Orion space capsule. Um, and it's got a gyroid lattice structure in there. So it's just printed out a PLA. But the, the intent here was to prove, you know, without any artifacting in CT, how much can we actually improve by using the focal spot beyond like a spatial resolution measurement with ASTME 2002 or 1695, what can we expect in the 2D image? And you can see there, it's a pretty dramatic improvement. And then this is the same sample, but three-dimensionally, now we can see what happens in the three-dimensional world in our image on our volume. And you can see um, the image in the center, that is the standard setup or standard one watt per one micron. And you can see that it's kind of a smooth looking surface, looks nice, but what you don't know is that that surface is actually much more rough. And the reason why is that we're building planar layers there when we 3D print. And now when we actually correct for the focal spot size, and creating the correct geometric unsharpness we actually want in our image. So we're not blurring out those features. We can now see that. We can make sure that now uh, things on the surface or within the part are now detectable to our requirements. Here's an example of uh, how we're offering this out to our user base in our filter wheel. Um, so this is our filter wheel with the crosshair tool in it. You can see on the left-hand side, that's the industry standard measuring the focal spot size. And on the right-hand side, when we correct for a dramatic improvement in the actual values reported. And this makes it fast and automated for the user. So we can do fast, quick, easy measurements uh, on the fly. You can build it into a motion program and those things that make it easy for you.